Hello, Cancerians. Someone rising in Venus. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back. Sending you guys so much love and light. This is going to be a reading for you, Cancer. If you have Cancer placements, this reading may resonate with you. Let us continue. Well, we haven't started yet, but Aquarius may resonate with you. Outcome in this situation is favorable. What is, this, what is this energy of Aquarius? We are in the age of Aquarius. Pluto and Aquarius. Thank you, Spirit. I want you, says, at the bottom of the deck. So there could be an Aquarius who wants you. So look, look the outcome in this situation is favorable. So something here is happening that is favorable here for you. We have Leo wanting to show. What are these? Forgiveness is needed in this situation, and I'm sorry for the way I treated you. So these two energies show together. Forgiveness is needed, and somebody here apologizing to you. I just heard thunder, so you guys may you may be able to hear that. There's some thunder here. Let's continue. What is this reading about? Forgiveness. So far, somebody asking you to forgive, forgive them. Something that this person here did or something they, they they said or did in the past give me one more energy for cancer give me one more energy for cancer poverty the gift a mature male there's a mature man here with a gift wanting to court you this person may feel like they um they're lacking, they're, there's some lack, there's lack of some kind that they're coming in to help you. Give me one more energy for this reading for Cancer. One more energy. Okay, child. So a child may be involved and there's a message coming through about a child. The outcome in this situation is favorable. The Wheel of Fortune, look, the Wheel of Fortune is showing with this... Uh, with this energy, the Wheel of Fortune. Someone may owe you money for, <clears throat> I'm just just channeling this message. There could be money here for a child that is owed. Um, there's uh, a person who's lacking of some kind and we have a gift from a mature man. And there's a message here coming from this person. There's a message coming through forgiveness, wanting to give you, wanting to give you a gift. Get into the tarot three of three of ones so there's an arrival here with for happiness again the outcome is favorable i'm seeing the sun the sun is happiness for you what is this gift here what is mature man gift for cancer there's a message here from this from this energy i'm going to place this here so you guys can see it i don't know if you can see it but there's a message there's a message number seven may resonate for you What is this gift here for cancer? 1737. We have, yeah, a child, something about a child here. Page of Wands is good news. Look, a communication. This is good news. Because of somebody that tried to deceive you, Eight of Cups, with a star. We have Aquarius in, in the reading very strongly. So there's a yes here, a wish fulfillment. Someone might have um, might maybe communicating to you that they've walked away from from something recently. I'm seeing the Seven of Swords with the Justice and the Ten of Pentacles. Some money that is owed to you. There's money that is owed to you that may be coming in. Um, you do have a message, and this page of page of Wands. I said, it, you know, you have a message from this energy. This is this is good news. Typically, this poverty situation may be something that you felt like you might have been lacking. Some area of your life, whether that's monetary, I feel like there's an eight of eight, two eights, um, eight of eight of wands, and the eight of cups. There's some. Some of you are headed directly towards a wish fulfillment with the star energy. We have. We started the reading with Aquarius. There's something here that's coming into balance. Something from the past that that was not that, that wasn't fair. That wasn't fair, and this is why we have forgiveness and somebody here coming through apologizing. And there's money. There's a gift here that this energy here is giving to you. Ten of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. It has to do with money. Look at this. Three of Wands, the Five of Cups. There's somebody here that's going to ask you for forgiveness. Okay, Five of Cups, someone from your, your past. I don't know who this is. It could be a mature man. 
Three of Wands could be a Leo. This person could be at a distance. Three of Wands, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and the Ace of Cups. There's an offering here that this energy wants to make to you. Okay, this gift, I was clarifying this gift, is coming in the, in the form of news, good news, and communication. There's been a release, a departure. The Eight of Cups here looks to me like the man and the Three of Wands. So this, this energy has, in fact, or will be communicating that they've released something. Okay, there's, a, there's an arrival here from an energy, very strong Aquarius in the reading. What is the star energy? Why don't we do that? Let's clarify the star energy. I feel like changing, switching decks, yeah. Let's clarify the star. <clears throat> I see the full energy at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to shuffle this deck. Give me one second. I'm going to shuffle this deck. What is the star energy here for Cancer? This is indeed a gift from the universe. It is a gift. It is a time here for celebration. Communication from this energy here with this message. It's raining. It's raining outside. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So... That is an indication, a good indication, a good omen, I should say. That is a good omen for this reading. And this feels to me, this, and I'm clear, I mean, I'm looking at this page of wands as I'm moving this to have the light so you guys can see this energy. This is good news, a good omen that's coming in. The star energy is a good omen. This is a gift that, that's coming from the universe. It doesn't have to be a gift directly from this person. I have Scorpio at the bottom of the deck. But it's, it is a gift from the universe. Um, let's. Uh, I do see somebody here asking you for, for, for to, to forgive them. Could be a Virgo. Okay, I'm seeing the hermit. Hermit energy, mature man. That that's that is the hermit. The hermit look with an apology. Page of Cups, because the hermit has a has a <laughs> gray gray beard, and so so does this mature man. Mature man. Somebody who's wise. Taking, has taken their time to gather gather awareness or self-reflection. Who knows? But they're apologizing. They're coming through with a, an emotional confession or, pet, um, you know, some type. I don't know what I was going to channel. I said pen. I was going to say pension. So someone may owe you here for, for for something. Maybe children. Maybe child support. I don't know. There's something with the, the yeah, with money. Ten of Pentacles, I'm seeing. To different deck. Ten of Pentacles. So what is the star energy for cancer? For cancer. What does cancer need to know? What is the star energy for cancer? Aquarius. We have the two of wands planning. Is that the three of wands? Yeah, planning at a distance. Two of wands, three of wands. I'm ready to go. There's somebody at a distance here either planning to travel to you. Because I'm seeing the eight of swords. Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, twice, eight, 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 it may, be, may resonate for some of you. Eight of Swords and the Eight of Cups, we have the Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Moon. So you know what this energy is doing? This person here is it's breaking out of fears and a release, okay, fears and anxiety, it could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Six of Swords, moving on and breaking out of this. We have the Eight of Cups. I said it. This star energy, for some reason, I, I th this is going to create a healing between you and somebody. Whatever this person is, it's turning their back on and, and, and leaving in the past. It's going to bring in about a healing between the two of you. I see someone at a distance planning. Give me one more energy for the star. For the star, we have the moon here. Moving, moving on, moving on from a commitment could be Taurus energy. Higher guidance involved. This person's moving on from chaos. Could be a king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The star energy, this could be commitment as well. The, the higher fantasies could be commitment. What is this gift? What is this gift? I feel like this gift is a gift from the universe. There's an energy who's coming out of a cycle here of entrapment and fears. No longer feeling confined and held back, you know? And there's there, there they come. Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles with Hierophant could be a proposal. Give me one more energy for the star energy. We have Virgo, Aquarius, and Taurus. Give me one more energy. No longer confined to the past. No longer being held back from the past. Give me one more energy for the star energy for Cancer. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody here sees you stable. Spouse material. Nurturing, Emperor, Emperor Aries, and the Queen of Cups. This is you. 
this is you um three of cups the t the temperance it's 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 a balance that you're coming into here um i feel like there's um a connection here with an energy that could be married i'm just i'm just gonna say that because i see the queen of pentacles the queen of of cups which is you but you know and I, that i see three people here the three of cups and the queen of cups so this energy could be married but there, there's somebody who's walking away from a commitment i don't you know this is what i'm seeing i don't know if this is something that you've waited for but i see an energy here walking away from something that wouldn't allow them to come forward towards you they may be experiencing a, some sort of lack right now because if, if they're going through a divorce all right let me get one more energy there's a masculine here with um Gained, that has gained higher guidance or reflecting on something or re they're they're able to see something because i'm seeing the hangman with the sun leo and pisces give me one more energy okay so that that's the message here that is the message we're going to look at that in just a second i'm also getting that this person may view you as spouse potential wife material husband material this mature male, which is here, the emperor and the hermit, I view as the same energy. It is a it is a masculine energy who has gathered a sense of enlightenment, spirituality, awakening as well. We have a tower, epiphany, sudden realization, something happening suddenly for this energy or for you or between the two of you or unexpectedly. I feel like this is an event that is happening unexpected. It, is, it has to do with good news. And I'm clarifying the star energy. We have the tower. We have Pisces, the hangman, and the three of pentacles. This is somebody who's thought a, a, very long and hard about building together with you. I feel like that is why you're showing as the queen of pentacles. The marriage thing is not going to resonate. Somebody walking away from a commitment is not going to resonate for everybody. I see somebody here thinking very, very thoroughly about or having a real sense of realization, like I said, with the tower about this connection about this connection there might have been other people involved trying to manipulate the situation um i feel like this person here no matter who they've dealt with here recently they they, they have gathered a sense of awareness about who you are to them who these people are if there were other people energies involved because i saw that we saw the justice with the seven of swords someone might have given wrong advice to this uh, mature male in the past, okay, created, causing them to betray betrayed you or this connection. That is a message that I'm channeling. This masculine here, mature male, wants to build with, with you. They see you stable. You may have Earth in your chart, Cancer, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this could be an Aries, but I see somebody here wanting to build Three of Pentacles with you, taking a chance and wanting to build. Give me an energy. Give me coming in with a gift. I wanted to clarify what this saying. You know, this this Queen of Pentacles is holding this pentacle here, so unexpected. So this is this this is the unexpected. Something that was limiting this energy from coming forward with this Eight of Swords. We have guilt. Yeah, forgiveness, guilt, guilt and shame and deep remorse over past actions and words that are hindering the situation. We began the reading with forgiveness, forgiveness. There's a wish granted here for you, regardless, unexpectedly, regardless of how you see this reading or how you, how this reading makes sense for you or how you, how it resonates for you. I see a wish fulfillment here with, um, with a masculine energy who has, you might have known this person since you guys were, were, were young, since you were children or unexpected. Divine feminine. We have divine feminine now showing guilt over a divine feminine this person might have seen a red flag recently somebody here might have seen something you know it does talk about tuning into the energy that you are receiving and listening to the messages from your body and trusting your thought and intuition about a particular situation i said this is somebody who's evaluated or thought long long about where they want to build and i i i, I perceive this message for you cancer as somebody who's viewing you in this nurturing energy queen of pentacles divine feminine energy and feeling really guilty okay there's an acceptance here that is happening with this person accepting yourself and others so there's an acceptance um about something that from the past here that they want to make right that is something that they want to make right seven of swords and and 
the justice is something that they want to make right. Look, I keep seeing this message. This is an energy that is tuning in to what their gut feeling is telling them. They want to make a like the right decision here. They don't want to be wrong. Distance. They could be physical distance, meaning they could be at a distance, or there may be there may be distance here between the two of you. Renew and adventure. A return of passion and play. Unexpected. Keep showing. <laughs> Unexpected completion could be. I have a completion. And I talked about this person and the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords walking, walking away. We have the Eight of Cups here twice. And this could be anything. This could be a person here walking away from other people, other energies that were giving them bad advice. Um, I don't know where I just got praying, praying. This energy is praying for something to... What are they praying for? We have a completion. They've definitely complete, completed completed something. There's also another message here that if somebody here was holding back emotions and repressing emotions with this moon and eight of swords, this is somebody now that's coming forward unexpectedly. They're going to come forward out of the blue unexpectedly. Let's get some of these to end the reading, Cancer. What else does Cancer need to know? This is a, a person that's taking action towards, towards something here. Look, they're putting something here to rest. So liberation says here, new beginnings, it says liberation, new beginnings, transition and being reborn. Everything in divine timing. Everything is happening here in divine timing, needing time, perhaps, but making progress. OK, this person still may need time, but making progress There's something here that they're being they're liberating themselves from new beginnings and transitioning, needing time. Soulmate. This is a soulmate. This is a soulmate. It's heartbreak here and pain in the past that, that's, that this energy will be speaking about or speaking to you about. Soul connection. We have death energy. We have coffin and we have death. New beginnings, liberation. No second chances. Growing and transforming. What's dead is dead. There's a very strong emphasis here on making progress and growing. We saw the energy of completion. There's something here that this person here has completed. Look, they might have completed an addiction. Someone might have completed a, a cycle here of, of codependency. Or even, it says here, emotionally blocked or emotion, emotional block, blockage. No second chances. You know, I'm also channeling cancer that this energy may be telling another person, another third party, no more. No more second chances. You know, I'm growing. I'm transforming. Um, that's it. What's dead is dead. What what's dead is dead. I'm I'm I feel I'm I'm headed towards a new beginning. So I see somebody here working on themselves. It says here time to heal and needing time needing time. This is indeed a soulmate connection. Past lives it says here. The outcome in this situation is favorable for you. I see that with a star energy. We have heartbreak and pain separation. I feel like your person here experienced it um Painful betrayal because they saw they, they might have seen something. Somebody might have seen something. And this is why what's dead is dead. No, no second chances, says here, death. Very strong Scorpio energy. Growing and transforming from this experience. Deceptions and lies. Shocking attack. Okay. Learning from the past, says here, gaining new perception. This energy is learning from the past and gaining new perception. That is why they need time to heal. This is a soulmate. They've put something to rest. I, that's that's what I said. Should we take these cards? Yes, we should. Because they fell out of the deck and I'm not going to put them back in the deck. See, this is an energy that is making healthier choices. Making better choices. Feeling like they're making better choices. Self-love being happier. What's interesting here is that we have spiritual awakening and truth and heartbreak. There's a, There's been a spiritual awakening because of a heartbreak. And a deception. There's an energy who has seen the truth, who has seen the truth about a lot of things, I would say, okay, because because something has, has in fact been revealed to them. It says here, enlightenment, epiphany, with a spiritual awakening. Look, her betrayal. I said it. Somebody here was betrayed, and I don't feel like that, that's you. I feel like this is karma for someone. Making healthier choices. There's a completion. What's dead is dead. Somebody feels liberated. There's communication coming in from this person who feels guilt about the way that they conducted themselves about this connection with you. There's a divine feminine soulmate energy here. There's enlightenment. I said it with this magician. Okay, this is the hangman, but 
If I channel the magician, that must be for a reason, right? That That is Gemini and Virgo. And the magician is about communication. It is Mercury energy. It's also about manifestations. Manifestations. Actually, as a matter of fact, I'm channeling that message as the enlightenment here has been about somebody who, who, who could have been manipulative. The magician could be an energy about manipulation. So there's been an enlightenment and a truth, a truth about this clarity, more importantly, spiritual awakening, truth and heartbreak, all those three energies show together. So Cancer, this is what I have for you for now. Let me know if the reading resonated with you. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for your support, likes, subscribes. I'll be back soon with another reading, Cancer. Until then, namaste.